seriously, this was actually what Wiki needed because if Wiki is not being cautioned, Wiki will always feel like a god. So, further lawmakers push for disciplinary, disciplinary action against FCT Minister Yes on Wiki, since area council chairman. So, this is what happened today, being to stay. So, the House of Representatives has called for sanctions against Yes on Wiki. The Minister of the Federal Capital Territory FCT and six area council chairman for alleged insubordination and disregard for the legislative body. And the new agencies of Nigeria NAN report that um, that Iko Nefani, a member of the Heart of Committee on Fair FCT Area Councils and Ancillary Matters, made the demand during the committee's meeting in Abuja on Tuesday. He stated that it was a show of disrespect, a lack of regard for the House that the Minister and his Council Chairman refused to appear before the House after they were needed on invitation. That means they invited Wiki and then he didn't come because why he always feel like a god. He said, why must we invite someone here and they are giving us the date they will appear? You could imagine the other city. What, what about the risk people took to be there? We should not be seen pleading for them to appear before us. My own decision is that they should be the one to look for us. If we don't stop this arrogance, it will not stop. That issue, that is the main thing. If you don't stop this wicked arrogance, it never stop. It will keep going and causing harm to people. Imagine how disrespectful it is to be disrespecting your fellow leader in a public space. That is shows that at least it's good that they've called him to order. Henceforth, we will not approve anything for both the minister and the area council chairman. And as a matter of fact, we will tell the president to remove Wiki as the FCT minister if the, the president will listen to this and remove Wiki because Wiki has caused more damage than good. I hereby move as a motion to bring this to the floor of the house for them to come and explain why they are not honoring our invitation, he said. Frederick Agwedi, the chairman of the committee, said he viewed the action of the minister and the council chairman as a breach of their constitutional responsibilities and a disservice to the people they serve. The committee's house oversight function is essential. The committee's oversight function is essential to ensuring accountability and good governance. And this refusal to honor our invitation undermines these efforts. He said that the six area council chairman has not flagged off, completed or inaugurated any project in the area council, unlike the minister. This is appealing this is appealing constitution, the huge monthly allocation running into billions of naira to each of the six area councils in the last one year and beyond. He said he said the committee will not hesitate to invoke its power to ensure that the area council operates in the best interest of the people. Also speaking, Rep. Adesola Adebayo, APC Lagos, a member of the committee, said the function to oversee the activities of the council area resides in the house. He said that the former council chairman of Papa local government in Lagos, the chairman should know that they are extensions of the state house. He stated that no chairman dares not to appear before the state house of assembly because they have the power to remove them. The legislator experienced outrage during the area council chairman's refusal to appeal as deliberate disrespect towards the House of Representatives. Despite receiving invitation, so we keep God the invitation and then he didn't honor it because why he feels that like he's a God and thank God he's being cautioned. And if the people listen to them and remove him as every minister, that would be better. They were fully invited but wrote a letter within an hour saying that they won't be coming. We should apply the maximum pressure on them. They should be accountable to the legislature. It is respectful and disregardful for the House of Representatives to for them not to have shown up, he said. The committee said that the LCD minister and the council chairman see them as their house boys, saying that such would not be tolerated. However, Narudin Abbas, PDP in Oyo, suggested that the minister of the council should be given the last chance. Let's communicate with them again. If they fail to appear again, then we should sanction them. A federal lawmaker, Sada Soli, APC in Castina, however, asked that the member be broken into a 
closed section to discuss further. You can imagine the level of um, disrespectful disrespect that WK brings to the house because why he feels that he's the FC minister, he has power to do anything he wants. And I think this is the major, this is the way to go. Let them break up Wiki and sanction him. If you remove him as the enemy, they should, so that his ego will come down. Because Wiki has this high ego that he destroyed people. You can imagine what he told to a senator that she should not bother running again in the election, which means that he feels that he owns Abuja. That she should not run, that he will make sure that she fails the election and she doesn't win. These are the things Wiki is coming out to say in the public space, disgracing others. And now they've called him. In a meeting, he felt that it's not necessary to appear one hour before the time you write a letter to them that you yeah, will be coming. That is so disrespectful and also disregardful. So, guys, let me know if you have a video in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and share your friends to like our videos. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Stay tuned, guys.